Hello YouTube, hope you're back once again and today we're going to be going over my top, I'm not sure if this camera's working right, my top uh, 40 running backs this year in order. This is going to be a quick video, just listing them out there, I'm going to put them down in the description also, but I'm going to have a later video, probably recorded later on today whenever I'll probably take a nap because it's in the morning right now, I just woke up. And I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna discuss where I have these top people. I'm gonna start discuss why I have everywhere where they're at. But this is gonna be a quick video. Just naming them. Uh, number one on my list, I have Le'Veon Bell. The two game suspension doesn't scare me all that much, and I really like Le'Veon Bell. He'll be there for your playoffs, and he's not gonna hurt you too much in the regular season. Only missing two games. Um, number two for me is Marshawn Lynch. I mean, he doesn't have as much upside as AP or even Lacy or even some of the other guys, but. He's safe. He's going to get touchdowns, and I mean, he's going to get you points on a week to week basis. Three on my list is a guy who I'm not a big fan of, but he's good. I got Eddie Lacy. Four, I got Adrian Peterson. Five on my list is someone people are not looking at near enough. I have Justin Forrest set at my number five in a Mark Tressman offense. He's going to get the touches. There's no one to take the carries away from him, and he's going to get the touches on the passing game. He's going to be a good guy. Number six for me is Jamal Charles. Seven, I got Jeremy Hill. Not sure about him, though. Eight, I got Arian Foster. Nine, I got C.J. Anderson. Ten, I got Leshawn McCoy. Eleven, I got DeMarco Murray. Twelve, I got Jonathan Stewart. I'm a big fan of Jonathan Stewart. Thirteen, I got Alfred Morris. Fourteen, Matt Forte falling off. By the way, my tier one is one through six, and I just finished my tier two at DeMarco Murray. I'm sorry I did not say that out loud earlier. My tier one ends with Jamal Charles. My tier two ends with DeMarco Murray. My tier three ends with Matt Forte, and now we're into a very long tier four. My tier four is Lamar Miller at 15, Joseph Randall at 16, 17 is Joyt Bell, 18 is Mark Ingram, 19 is Latavius Murray, 20 is LeGarrette Blunt. 21 is Carlos Hyde, 22 is Melvin Gordon, and 23 is a guy that I'm having second thoughts about, Isaiah Crowell. I'm having second thoughts about him because I did not know Terrence West was still such a big deal. I just figured that out. 24, and in the f number one in the fifth tier is Rashard Jennings. I got Frank Gore after him at 25. 26 is CJ, I mean, bleh, Chris Ivory. 27 is CJ Spiller. 28 is Todd Gurley. 29 is Tevin Coleman, 30 is TJ Yelding, 31 is Andre Ellington, 32 is Giovanni Bernard, 33 is David Cobb, Doug Martin I have at 34, 35 is Terrence West, 36 is Ryan Matthews, 37 is Shane Vereen, 38, why did I put Shane Vereen, he changed, I don't even know where he's at, 38 is Fred Jackson, 39 is Amir Abdullah, 40 is Darren McFadden, another few guys I want to talk about. Not on my list, barely missed it. Um, Ronnie, Ronnie Hillman, Jonas Gray, Jonas Gray. I like Jonas Gray. He had one really good game last year. Never did play again. Uh, Ronnie Hillman. Uh, he he played pretty good before C.J. Anderson did a good job. And if Anderson gets hurt, Ronnie Hillman's gonna take over the job and do well as well. I think so. Uh, I wouldn't mind if if you're gonna pick C.J. Anderson early. I think you should handcuff him with Ronnie Hillman towards the end of the draft. Monte Ball is done. I'm a Broncos fan. I can tell you myself. Monte Ball is done. Monte Ball is not going to play unless it's in a second man role whenever C.J. Anderson gets done and he shares touches with Ronnie Hillman with Ronnie Hillman getting the bulk. Um, so those are the guys I wanted to list. My top 40. Um, it's debatable. I mean, I got Isaiah Crowell too early. I figured that out. But, um... Yeah, we'll talk about this in a discussion video later. That's going to be a super long video. Um, if you like this video, push the like button. Yeah, I think if you like it, push the, that makes sense. If you like the video, it makes perfect sense to push the like button. Uh, helping out a lot. And also, please subscribe, man. I'm going to be doing daily fantasy. I'm going to be doing daily uploads during the fantasy season. Helping you guys with your draft. I got the quarterback list here, my top quarterbacks. But I have a question for you guys to answer in the comment sections for me. I have the first pick in a 2QB league that has points for completions. This is the end of the video back there. But 
points for you get point five point for every completion a quarterback has. It's crazy. So and it's you a two a two QB starting league. Um, so pretty much in those kind of leagues, it's good to pick a quarterback in the first round if you have a first pick. I have a first pick. I don't know who if I should go with Andrew Luck, who's going to get more dropbacks, or Aaron Rodgers, who I feel like is actually the better quarterback right now. But Andrew Luck is playing on a team with the worst defense, who's going to be down more, so he's going to have to throw more. I was sold on Aaron Rodgers, then I thought about that. So I don't know. If you want to voice your opinion on that topic in the comment sections below, please put down who you like. Andrew Luck or Aaron Rodgers as the number one quarterback in fantasy. Not even for my situation, just who is the best quarterback in fantasy, Aaron Rodgers or Andrew Luck. And in normal leagues, I wouldn't go earlier than third or fourth round on either one of them. See you later, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it. Signing out. Also, for Ryan Tannehill. I just wanted to say the word Ryan Tannehill because people are sleeping on him. Bye.